Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. Today, I'll be showing you how to install the latest version of Invoke AI on Pinocchio, an excellent alternative to Comfy UI for image generation. If you're looking to simplify your AI image creation process and want to avoid the very complex node system in Comfy UI, you're in the right place. Invoke AI uses the power of stable diffusion to offer a streamlined, powerful UI that makes AI-driven creativity easier for artists, designers, and visual content creators. Invoke AI offers two versions, a community edition, which you can self-host, we will be taking a look at in this video, and a professional edition for teams looking for more features like cloud hosting and enterprise-grade support. With tools like Control Canvas, users get full flexibility in editing images by manipulating regions, layers, and raster objects, perfect for detailed, precise work. Whether you want to iterate on design elements or create something from scratch, Invoke AI gives you the control to manage each step of the process. In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up and install Invoke AI on Pinocchio. Whether you're using Invoke AI as an artist or game developer, this tutorial will help you get everything configured for professional grade AI image editing. Let's dive into the setup and by the end, you'll have the tools you need to start transforming your creative projects with ease. So let's dive into this video. All right, let's get started. First, we head over to Pinocchio.computer and click on the download button. We scroll down to find the appropriate version for our system. In this case, we'll be installing the Windows version. Once it's downloaded, install Pinocchio and open it on your computer. I won't show the installation here since I have already done that on our previous videos. Once the installation is finished, we simply open the Pinocchio app. Inside, you'll see the Pinocchio UI where all of our AI tools are listed. Next, we click on the Discover button where you can browse through various AI tools. Here we find Invoke. We click on Invoke, then hit the big download button, and then click on Install. Once that's done, you'll see a page with an Install button on the left. We click on it and wait for the entire installation process to finish. This will download the initial module of the Invoke UI. Other models and extensions will be downloaded after. After installation completes, we click pop out to open the Invoke UI in your browser. All right, the first step is to head over to the model tab to install the necessary models and extensions. We click the pop up at the bottom of the page. It'll prompt you to install the models. On the right, you'll see a list of all available models. We have Flux models, SDXL models, and Stable Diffusion 1.5. What's great about Invoke AI is how easy the model installation process is. There's no need to manually locate the model folders. Invoke AI automatically handles everything. Just select the models you need. For this example, I'm installing the Flux Dev 1 model along with the SDXL Juggernaut model and some extensions like Control Nets for upscaling and VAE for Flux. Once the models are downloaded, they'll appear neatly listed on the left side of the page. After that, we'll head back to the Generation tab. Here, we'll test a prompt I copied from Midjourney. I'll select the Flux Dev model for this, leave all other settings on default, and click Invoke to generate. Looks good. Next, let's try a simple prompt, a portrait of a girl. Also nice. Now we'll use a prompt template to switch up the style. I'll choose the anime style from the dropdown and click Invoke again. Another solid result. 
Now, let's try the ControlNet image to image feature. First, click on the Gallery tab, then go to Assets and upload the image you want to remake. We'll click the Layers button and add the image to a new layer. Right click the image layer, convert it to a control layer, then switch the model to Juggernaut. Next, I'll select the Canny SDXL ControlNet extension, resize the canvas to fit the image, add a prompt, and select the Photograph Prompt template. Then click Invoke. And voila! The result nicely follows the input image and we can compare the difference. Finally, we'll upscale the image, we click the Upscale tab, we drag the image into the box, remove the VAE as we don't need it for upscaling, and click Invoke. As you can see, we have a highly detailed image now. Let's also upscale the previously generated portrait of the girl. Just drag it into the box and hit Invoke. Well, a slight improvement in quality this time. That wraps up our tutorial on the Invoke AI Pinocchio installation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.